Hey everybody, it's Wolvash. Welcome back to Call of Cthulhu. All right, um, we left off uh, a little bit of a body hopping spree. Um, Pierce hopping into Cat, hopping into Sarah, um, watching Sarah fail to resist the call and Cat get maybe murdered. I don't know. Um, I guess we'll find out when we jump into uh, Darkwater Police Station, Chapter 12. Here we go. Pierce, wake up. What happened? Take that weapon, you'll need it. Sarah Hawkins, she... Ah! What? Tell me! My head! You're coming into my head! Bradley, damn it, pull yourself together! You got me! I can't resist any longer! It's reason why them use that psychology. It's alright, Bradley. Just try to calm down. Everything is going to be fine. Are you stupid? I'm telling you. I'm turning into one of them. Bradley, trust me. We lost, Pierce. They even got Sarah Hawkins. I was unable to stop her. What do you mean, unable? She left with the bookseller. He came back, alone. Told me she couldn't resist the call. The doctors told me later that they saw her going in the direction of the whaling station. Damn it! I'm turning, Pierce, into one of those things. No! Keep fighting it, Bradley. It's too late. You have to end this. Do it. Kill me! Do you have to? Um. No. Enough killing. Idiot! Ah! If I have to kill no, him, it's gonna go. be. Imbecile. We'll do it when he's charging me. If we stop this, maybe he'll go back to normal. Sarah Hawkins was going to the whaling station. Stop. Oh God. What am I doing? See, they're attacking me. Them, I'll shoot. Bradley was my friend and he was fighting his best. Enough! Enough! Alright. What the... Was he like the others? What? What happened there? The whaling station is this way, I think. How many died because of this madness? Well, count on the way. I think we'll figure it out. Oh, the crabs are gonna eat them, and that's just creepy. I'm glad my strength is augmented by a gun, because uh, we didn't focus on that so much. Don't think we'd survive this place otherwise. The whaling station through here. Cat wouldn't let us in here before, not without her being an escort. I never thought that we'd actually get a hold of a gun in this game. Hey, you! They got the boss. Nasty wound. I wanted to get her the first aid kit in the Hawkins warehouse, but there's one of those poor bastards in it. Too dangerous. I'll see what I can do. Okay. We want to try and find the first aid kit in the Hawkins warehouse. That's in here, right? I'm going to say yes. First aid kit will be useful. These possessed madmen are wiping out dark water, and I count on leaving here alive. This might prove useful. But why would we heal Cat? There's got to be a reason for it, because she's not exactly been on our side before. Hope his boss will have more luck. Well, that's that's up to us, isn't it? Um, 
Um, that's locked. All right, Miss Cat. Um, they want me to come save you. But where are you? Well, there was this door last time, but that's still closed to us. What? Reach the whaling station and heal Cat. Am I wrong? Shit. They're going to the whaling station. I'd better hide and wait until they're gone. Okay. Is he going to? I'm wondering if I've been shooting these guys and I haven't needed to. I'm wondering if I could have stealthed around all of them. Is this guy going to be the random survivor? The lone benefactor of my realizing my ignorance? No. No. Where do you want me to go? Sorry, dude. I really, really actually am sorry. Uh, I don't know where they want me to go. Where's the bloody whaling station? I thought it was back here, but we didn't find any more ways forward. Except this locked door. Maybe we need to go another route? It doesn't feel right though. Sorry, bud. Can I get to the whaling station this way? Or is the car blocking me? See, the car's blocking me this way. Hmm. Should I go in? Can I go into the bar or maybe up to Fitzroy's place? What happened here? That would be a no. Who's there? Oh. Okay, I can get into Fitzroy's place. Fitzroy's destroyed all the ways off the island. Attention everyone, I want all the boats removed from the bay immediately. Sailing boats, small boats, everything that floats. No one escapes us, not now. Their fates are sealed as the great lord will rise from the depths. No one can escape his grasp. Soon, my brothers, we will rejoice because the long-awaited moment is now upon us. Okay, so Cat is in here. 
I don't know why they wanted me to go a different direction. What are you still doing here, detective? Whoa. I need to go to the whaling station. It's locked. You'll need a key to get there. Right. Go get me a first aid kit. I might have something for you. I have one. Here, take it. Right. The entrance to the whaling station is behind the Hawkins warehouse. Well, we thought that. But you had to give me a key for all that, huh? wonder if I shot her, if that would actually hurt her. I'm not going to do that. I'm insane. Uh, my mind is flooded with uh, forbidden eldritch knowledge, but I'm not going to shoot some woman who's still got her wits about her, who's not a shambling zombie. God. Like that, unfortunately. Oh, man, Bradley. See, if you had been one of these things, you would have gotten shot. Be glad that you are still of rational mind for the most part. All right, bootleggers passage into the whaling station. What will we do in the whaling station? What will we do in the whaling station? What will we do in the whaling station? Summon Great Cthulhu. Call into the depths and the old one rises. Call into the depths and the old one rises. Call into the depths and the old one rises. Calling great Cthulhu. I guess I shouldn't be on Cthulhu's side, but that's the name of the game, man. I want to see Cthulhu. If I don't see Cthulhu, I feel like I've done something wrong. Ah. Oh. Well, that's an outcome I didn't foresee. It's happening. I did not foresee running out of bullets. I did not think that was a thing that would happen. That shows what I know. And I hope I don't need any more. Chapter 13, Abandoned Whaling Station. Pierce crossed the docks where old acquaintances and new faces met their ends. All over the place, Leviathan slaves were wandering in search of a victim. After fighting his way through and after discovering the truth about the origin of the cult and its founders, Pierce finally reached the whaling station. He hopes to catch Sarah Hawkins before she does something bad. <laughs> Just something bad. Like giving, you know, chocolate to a dog. <laughs> something bad. Hither thou shalt be free. Sarah is with those bastards. I gotta find her quick. Okay. Schizo. We have come to the end. This tank seems strong enough to break down the door. It does. Alright. So we got one more... One more puzzle to uh, piece together. A rope and a hook. Could use that to hold the reservoir back. Okay. I don't know what you mean yet, but uh, I'm listening. Let 
What's in here? Absolutely nothing. Say it again now. Nope, there's a hidden item in here. It showed up when we came in. Another volume of the Reverend's wife's diary. These are the last entries of the pastor's wife. Her husband ordered his faithful to come together for a final ceremony in the honor of Leviathan. She fears that the pastor will ask them to sacrifice themselves to this abomination. She tried to escape. This is probably why her body was found in a cave under the mansion. It's, that wasn't even the hidden thing. Looks like a page from a log from 1847. All right. Friday, 4th June, 1847. 53 North, 53 West. We are starving. The fish seems to have deserted these waters. If I don't quickly find the answer to this crisis, Fitzroy could well set off a mutiny. Each day, more and more men believe his tale of a miraculous catch. Merciful God, help me. Wednesday, 9 June, 1847, 57 North, 51 West. We sighted an enormous whale further to the south, the biggest we've ever seen. Fitzroy keeps telling the men that this is the miraculous catch he promised them. We will catch it and bring it back home to feed our families. So it's just, uh, just, uh, not just, um, uh, this is showing that Fitzroy was around during the Leviathan catch. He opens the offices of the whaling station. Okay. Nothing in there. There is going to be more to this place, though. Make sure we have our light out. Fuller was a crew member, too. Interesting. Wednesday, 23 June, 1847, 33 North, 53 West. The morning is biting cold. This creature made us work hard. Half of my crew is dead. I've never seen such a thing. I do not even know how to describe what happened. It's as if some of the creature was talking inside our heads. Some of my men went crazy and jumped overboard. This thing is not a whale. It's far bigger. I don't even know how to describe it. It practically gutted our ship with these tentacles. I don't know how. My harpoon finally pierced the skull of this monster. The crew is in a sorry state. Fuller looks after the injured, but some will not recover. So Fuller and Fitzroy, at the very least, were part of the crew of the Scylla that brought the monster down. We're looking for something to hook this rope to, correct? But this we can unlock. I'll be lucky if it's still sharp enough. Is this another protective protective thing? Or are we gonna need it to like cut the rope or something? It mentions the Leviathan. How it drove the sailors mad. Friday, 27 June, 1847, 37 North, 63 West. The whole crew has descended into madness. They speak of dreams, visions of a nightmarish city and of a sleeping god. Madness. I locked myself in my cabin. I won't be able to hold out for long. Fitzroy has 12 men on his side. They sacrificed everyone who tried to stop them uh, to their new god. I beseech you, almighty God, to have pity on our souls. This will be my last prayer. I can hear them whispering. Oh, Fitzroy. Okay. Doesn't work. That's okay, because I think we're going to use the rope on this, maybe? Maybe? This right. should stop the cart from moving. Okay. This should help me get the tank swinging. Okay. Well, let's find out. I need something to cut the rope to release the tank against the door. Uh, I think we have something. Call me a crazy. Boom. 
Oh yeah. All right, down we go. I haven't really said anything about it, but it drives me crazy that uh, all the the cutscenes are in such a washed out, blurry resolution when the game, you know, runs pretty good. 60 FPS, 1080p. What the frick? Are those like cocoons full of squid monsters? And there's the, oh, the chunks of green flesh. Oh my gosh, look at this. What is that thing? What is that thing? Is that the Leviathan? Pierce. Oh wow, look at how much stuff we've learned. And it still won't be enough to save us. Our psychology is great, but our mind is broken. Sanity is slipping even further. Uh, the, the stolen choice, gaining knowledge always comes at a cost. An unknown entity has come to find Pierce in his cell. The presence who calls itself Leviathan offered to grant what it called knowledge to him. When he accepted this gift, his mind was again projected into another's body. He followed the actions in the fall of Sarah Hawkins. She, that, uh, that Leviathan calls the Oracle, gave in to the attraction of occult forces after having defeated the Shambler once and for all. Pierce paid a heavy mental price for this knowledge. Leviathan has returned to torture Pierce. This time, the choice has allowed the detective to gain access to shocking revelations on the inhabitants of the island that he believed were his allies. Each piece of knowledge gained destroys Pierce's mind one more bit, a mind already weakened by visual and sound hallucinations that accompany Leviathan's visits. The detective's sanity is greatly undermined by these encounters. He's in danger of sinking into madness for good. The Leviathan. The true appearance of Leviathan was revealed, and no man can support this vision without going mad. Pierce set his eyes upon this cosmic being, and his mind suffered a new attack. He is trapped in the whaling station with Leviathan, and he must endure a series of ordeals if he has to survive this encounter. His choices will bear serious consequences for his sanity. Look at the things that we missed, so there's still a ton of stuff we haven't figured out. No. That voice. You're the Leviathan. Can we go somewhere else? Oh, it's like a regular lantern now. Look at this thing. Just Sarah? looking at it makes us go insane. Whoa, what the frick was that? Moshi, moshi. Oh. Who is this? The quest for truth requires sacrifice. There's no room for compassion. Who's there? Your stubbornness of wanting to help others who would have deserted you is a weakness. Faith leads us inevitably to solitude, and in one's final moments one is always alone. You can't escape it forever. It will always find its way. Damn it. Whoa. Dude. Double dude, where are we? Everything points back to the day they brought in that thing. A forgotten photograph in the offices of the whaling station. Only a handful of the Silla crew is present. Captain Fitzroy and Dr. Fuller are included. It is dated 1847. Nothing. While the sailors were going insane, Fitzroy and the mutineers took over the ship and probably killed the captain. 
Thursday, 25 June, 1847, 35 North and 59 West. Fitzroy encouraged the men all day. They are in shock and can't overcome their trauma. They say they can hear the screams of their comrades turn mad. Some of them hurt themselves in a desperate attempt to stop the visions that haunted them. Others chose to embrace them. Fitzroy is one of the latter. He named the beast Leviathan because he believes in his biblical nature. I told them to get rid of it before it's too late. That thing is not the work of God. An old log. Uh, Monday, 24 May, 1847, 42, west, uh, 42 North, 70 West. We have sailed from the island of dark water towards the north. Sailors say that these waters are haunted. I don't believe in these tales. It's not a good time for us. My men haven't seen the slightest trace of a whale for quite a while. If this season doesn't improve, they will no longer wish to serve on the Scylla. Sunday, 30 May, 1847, 47 North, 55 West. We are not the only hunters here. While we were looking for prey, we found dead whales, a dozen of them drifting, their entrails exposed. They had been shred as if they had been attacked by a huge predator. It's very strange. Perhaps it's a sign from God. Perhaps it is this good catch that we have long hoped for. We must find it, whatever the risk. Belonging to the captain of the Scylla, the pages I found seem to be the missing ones. Excision of the Madness Stone Beliefs and other superstitions have sometimes contributed to the development of medicine. Several centuries ago, it was thought that a patient with a mental disorder had a stone of madness in his skull. A trepanation of the skull and excision were uh, thus performed. Sometimes the patient survived, sometimes he was cured. Today, the vocabulary has changed, but the methods a little less. Well, we're a little bit smarter about medicine for all the good in the world that's going to do us right now. Jeez, I love literally just looking at it. Just looking at it causes us to go insane. That's so crazy cool. That is utter Lovecraftian. They eat his flesh while he's still alive. His flesh looks like it's alive while it's being eaten. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> this feels uncomfortable. Find spaces and alien entities from beyond the stars. These are the things that make us go mad. Look, see, just looking at it, just looking at it. That's so cool. No Sarah, to obey. whoa. Oh, look at this Joker right here. You know what? You know what? I'm checking the clock. I'm thinking this might be a good place to stop. Um, we will stop right here. And I think uh, in the next episode, we might actually be at the end of this thing. Um, we're moving at a pretty good clip. Uh, but for now, we'll talk to uh, Dr. Fuller uh, in the next episode. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, hope your madness isn't uh, taking over. Your sanity isn't slipping away. Uh, if not, come back for the next one. But until then, take care of yourselves.